Imagine as you were driving by the town common, seeing colorful, fun sculptures of many shapes and sizes lining the side of the road. That is the vision of some Burlington residents who thought up the idea of a sculpture park during a master plan steering committee and are now working to make it a reality. In Master Plan Steering Committee, we were talking about the fact that the center of Burlington with all this greenery is really quite lovely, but it's not memorable. Every other town around, Wilburn and uh, Lexington and uh, Stoneham, they all have a nice 1890 town center that's very memorable. And because of history, we don't have it. So kicking around that idea and looking at all this green space, we came up with the idea, wouldn't it be neat to have a sculpture park in the center of town? A sculpture committee was formed to help Norblum decide on a sculpture they are planning for in front of Lighttime Fitness in the Third Ave project. And the plan moving forward is to have those same people and anyone else interested in joining the cause work on the sculpture park for the town center. The, the hope is that the same committee can be used to figure out how to establish an ongoing sculpture park here in the center of town. So probably won't be styrofoam dragons, but some kind of colorful, fun thing that people will really enjoy and that can change every few years the high school kids can get involved. Exactly where the sculpture park will be located is still a question that needs an answer. The two main options being discussed are along Center Street from the Human Services Building down towards the Fire Department and the other option is along the Simons Park side of Cambridge Street and down the hill. So there's two different ideas. Both of them would be more like a sculpture trail than a sculpture park. Uh, but I would suggest that um, we form this committee and the committee would have people from different walks of life in town and figure out from the point of view of safety, of kids, parking, and so forth, what would be the best place for this to happen. After a location is picked, there will be multiple decisions on sculptures that the committee will have to make, though Jonathan said he had some ideas for what types they should consider. And this would, the final decision would be up to the committee, but for sure we would look for colorful and fun nothing political controversial, um, the kind of things that basically just delight the eye, the eye so that when you drive by you say, oh, I, I love this one or I love that one. Jonathan said another benefit of the sculpture park or a trail is it could help give people outside of town something to identify Burlington with rather than just its largest retail location. And instead of being known just as, oh, that's the town where the mall is, people would say, Burlington, that's the town with the cool, cool sculptures. And I think it will be uh, just a lot of fun for everybody. It's what I think of as low-hanging fruit. It costs the town very little money, probably less than the fireworks cost us every year. And um, the way I also describe it is we kind of already have a sculpture park. We have all this beautiful green space. We just don't have the sculptures. Finally, if anyone is interested in getting involved, there is an easy way to do so. There's a website called Art for Burlington, that's A-R-T number four, burlington.org, and there's a sign up there, and you can give feedback, and you can even check a box that says, I want to be on the committee. From the Burlington Town Center, I'm the News Director, Rich Hosford.